I'm back. We're gonna do some more Bloodburn. Bloodborne. Happy Friday. Um, I'm glad I looked that up because, yeah. <laughs> um, and actually, where am I going? Yes. Um, so it, you have to wait until after you kill Rom the Va Vacius or Vaxius. So yeah, it's V A C, like O U S or something, to get the third of an umbilical cord from Yosefka. But also, there is another place. The Tomb of Odin. No. I think we're supposed to go to Cathedral Ward. Uh. Oh! That's right, if you come back here... Huh, that's weird. There's supposed to be an NPC fight where you can... either kill... Eileen the Crow, or... I don't know, this isn't a complete walkthrough. Basically where I was trying to go... was... What? Cathedral War. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we gotta kill the spider before we kill Yosefka to get a third of umbilical cord. And really the umbilical cord, you just need to get three and then you get an alternate ending, I think is the only thing. You get like a different thing. Now that thing, that's what I was looking for. I was trying to find the little girl. Oh, hey. Alright, so now she's given blood. There's this lady. Brave hunter. What is it? Have you renewed thoughts on this matter? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You have already received blood. Okay, so I can't receive blood from her. I think until I drink the blood, and then you got this lady. <laughs> She's starting to go insane. Oh. There you are. You're a murdy dear. Is anything the matter? You can always tell me. Mother will make everything better. Okay. What's wrong? Anything you'd like to tell me? I have my share of woes, yes. You poor thing. Here, have some drugs. But don't you worry. <laughs> this will help you forget. Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> Sedative. Oh, and you in a bind again. <laughs> I think she can only give you one like every time you come back. Either way, you just need sedatives f to fight frenzy, and that's coming up in one of the areas. Oh. Is she gonna just keep giving me sedatives? Huh. Okay, well. I don't really use them a whole lot anyway, and I'm trying to remember where I even need to go. I think it's up this way. Don't really need any blood echoes. Bye. We're going to try to go over to the Wild Frontier. Ooh, I haven't even gotten this. One hit. Alright. Not try to aggro anybody. Oh. Alright. Now there are a couple of hunters over this way. Also while I'm doing this. I'm going to try to invade someone. So I think that invades anybody. Um, if they're playing co-op. Let's see. So there's two hunters down here. I think one has the Tenitris and the other... Ooh. Yeah, there's the Tenitris hunter right there. Right above where my head's at right now. And there's the other hunter right there. Above my head where it's at now. So, rather than get the item, let's wait on that. There's some birds over there. Um, let's fight the Tenitris hunter first. K 
kill him, hopefully. I don't like the sound of footsteps. Got him, okay. Whew. I mean, it does help that I leveled up like five or six levels at least than what I'd normally be at here. So now it doesn't matter, it's just this guy. Aha! It's the only time you can beat them. So, not that impressive now. It would have been more impressive earlier. Wait, usually there's somebody you can talk to. There you go. Alright. This one. Come on, say, do something different. But it sounds slightly different. Okay, that one sounds like maybe it was a repeat. Um, I trying to remember what else is up there. I mean, we've got some birds. There we go. Here's another red lantern. And I think these change every phase of the moon. So, like, after we kill the spider. Is that all they do here? They might even go away. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. Alright, so let's go get that item before I forget. And then... I just like to... Because in Dark Souls 2, there's a... Wait. Despicable Adversary. And then... Right, no... You're in the no, right? And then... There we go. <laughs> that bucket, like Dark Souls 2. Anyway, so in Dark Souls 2, there's a place in Majula where you can hit a bucket and it gives you iron. Let's see, there's nothing down there. There's birds there, so we'll kill them. But first, let's get the item. We'll probably have to drop down twice. Oh, actually. Make sure there's nothing we're missing over here. And a frenzied cold blood. Which I did read that prices for the bath messengers go up after the each phase, so... I mean, while we're enjoying things at a low price now, maybe it'd be worthwhile to do a couple runs through the forbidden... Now nah, we're gonna kill the spider, either this time or next time, so... Alright. Less than the woods, but at least now we can say we've got. Uh, oof. Now we can say we've killed them. And the real reason to come over here, well, there's a few reasons. And if you go up this way, you fight a bag man.
Ja. usually and the reason you want to go this way whoops you're in the know right yep and we're about to drop down on some shooters so there's an item there oh there's a skitters there oh no so let's get the item for now sure oh seduction <laughs> try finger but yeah all right and then I think there's yeah, shooters here. Oh. Then there's two of those guys. Oh, the other one's back there, okay. So... Not that bad now. And I also have a bunch of endurance enhancements. So like the the next area is gonna be a poison swamp. But Oh, all on the skitters. Where's the skitters? There we go. Oh, that's okay. Ah, we should probably just come back down this area. Of course, it's twin bloodstone shards, so it's not really that big of a deal. Alright. Now, you need the tonsil stone, and that, that's something else that I was reading, was that at a, for a short time, everybody is patches, so whatever house you go to, and it just happens for me that I always go to the one in the Forbidden Woods, um, but apparently it's any house becomes patches the spider. Now, oops. Ah, Amidala. <laughs> oh, Amidala. Oh, Amidala. <laughs> Have mercy on the poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, it patches the spider. Oh, that's right, we go here first. I was wondering how we get here, and notice we're healed up a little bit. This is what I thought the Lunarium Key was from on the last episode when we took on that NPC. But no, this is the lecture hall, or the school, or... Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty intense. Let's see, is there anything over here? A lot of breakable stuff. Some rather interesting enemies. So we'll go ahead and try to clear this out best we can. Oh, there's Patches the Spider. <laughs> what a joy it is to behold the Divine. It must be such a pleasure. You're in my debt, you know. You're nigh on a beast of the field. But here you are, treading a measure with the gods. <laughs> There's a way to attack him, too, like sneak up on him. Are your feet as fat as your wits? Oh, cease this dithering. Take the plunge. Throw yourself to the wolves. Mm, and that's some foreshadowing, because in the next area, he returns. He kicks you off a ledge. <laughs> and you follow the shining coins, too. Are your feet as... Oh, cease... Okay, so, yeah. But anyways, later on, there's a way to get in there and kill him, but... I think you have the option to spare him too. I don't know. Does not open from this side. Look how ornate and detailed all this stuff is too. Got a bunch of like bottles and containers and 
all sorts of stuff, concoctions. Okay, now I want to say there's a chest in a room that looks an awful lot like this. Maybe not. Now these areas, ugh, I was gonna say, have enemies. Oh, he's biting my neck. <laughs> yeah, those few levels I got did pretty well. Is there gonna be an enemy here? The lecture theater key, yes. So I think there's another hall like this that has a lot more of those enemies. There's more school uniform. Yep, student uniform, student trousers. Okay. Now that one goes to the wild frontier. And there's somehow to get to the second floor of this place. But that might be all that we can do for now. Oh, here's a door. Ah! There we go. Run! Ah! Oh, whoops. There we go. That's what's true. that one doing? It's like lifting some kind of horn up to the sky, like, I don't know, pretty creepy, uh, enemies. Let's give a lot of quicksilver bullets, and not a lot of blood echoes, I mean a decent amount, but if I was gonna go farming, I think Forbidden Woods is still, well I say that, but how much is one? Let's see, 700? I guess I guess it's pretty fair. I imagine there's about five of them, or no, at least like, eight to ten. Is that a doorway down here? It is, but what's... Oh, wait. I came in this way. That's right. So I came in. There's nothing up here. Massive building, too. I love this. Has some Dark Souls 3 vibes. There we go. This is what I was thinking of. I think this is like some arcane tool. It's the auger, I think. Yep, the auger of Ebrietus. The slug. But basically, the tentacle that you shoot out. Actually, is that the one that... This one requires 18. Nice, and that's, I believe, what I have. Yep, 18, so I don't need to upgrade any more. In fact, this... Alright. Oh, whoops. It just cost a bullet. That's pretty strong. Okay. So I think that's the door that does not open from this side. So we came out this way. There's the lantern. Nothing else in here. There's patches across the way there. There's a door there. There's a door here. We've been in both. Yeah, there's definitely things upstairs. But I believe we have to go somewhere else to come back for the second floor. Like, I don't think you can get there from here. But actually, like, the whole reason I was coming this way was to go through this door. 
Oh, I don't like this place. But here we go. Nightmare Frontier. At least we have this place. We don't have to do this right now. But I mean, go ahead and do a little bit. death. Like, I don't think there's any coming back from that. Oh well, and I think they only dropped twin bloodstone shards, because the next one is a bloodstone chunk. Some of the tombstones are bloody and like bleeding and like ripped apart and like um, bionic. Right, nice. they're bleeding. <laughs> right, so there's another one down there. There's a thing there. Oh, well, what's the catch? Also, we're going to ring the sinister bell. Alright, this elevator that isn't ready yet. Where is it? No. Like some Cthulhu vibes in there. Thing I'm wearing my anti bolt stuff. Lots of twin bloodstone shards. At least I'll feel better about missing that first one if it's just twin bloodstone shards here. A single bloodstone shard, nice. Classy. Oh, I think that was a bloodstone gem. I don't remember where all the stuff is in here. There's a lot of places you can go. And there's also some NPC. Oh. Yes, I'm going to invade somebody. Okay. World of Comic San 007. Okay, so these things are still alive. Going to the front. Kill this thing. Where is it? Did he run back to the lantern? Where are ya? Ah, there we go. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, you're sidestepping, eh? Oh, he's actually a bit fitter than me. Oh, he got me. Touche, touche. <laughs> All right. I wonder how much he got for that. That was fun. And I wonder how you, like, how you get invaded. Also, let's see. My gear should be poison. Let's poison. I think we have the best poison. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. That has better poison resistance. Rapid poison, but okay. Look like an old lady. Oh, oh, the skitters. Yeah, just regular bloodstone shards. All right, <clears throat> and this is an optional area with an optional beast, the Amidala, and it is a horrible boss. But, I mean, I keep saying that, but with these extra levels, when you kind of do that and level up a few extra times, it does kind of make everything else easier. Like, I'm being kind of sloppy through all this. Let's see, there's the other one over here. Took a lot of hits. Oh, look at his face. I just noticed that. Holy cow. It was like that thing off of uh, the Expendables. <sighs> or Suicide Squad. Only way creepier. My gosh. Alright, now I don't think that other thing respawns because it was uh, like a Skitters. Uh, only a Skitters that fights back. And then those things are in a bunch of poison. And they're very annoying. There's that thing. There's a couple of things. Ooh, did you see that? And I think there's the bell ringing maiden that's like up there. The evil, sinister bell ringing woman that rings the evil, or whatever, the sinister bell. And this is where the NPCs come out. There he is. Easy. Got one. What do I get from this one? Pick up item. Lead elixir. Oh, there's the other one. Hello. Kill him. Black church set. Alright. Okay. Time for quick stuffs. Feel very vertical up here. What is this? Reeks of rune. Nice, sure. Ooh, fading lake. Alright, well, we've just started to scratch the surface here, but those two uh, enemies do not respawn. So, we got the rune. Oh, there's even more stuff here. 
And I think that we can get invaded. That's what that bell ring woman is. There she is. I don't know how you get to her. Big BC there. Hmm. Oh. Guess we're gonna fight. Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> the alarm went off. I, I could go on for like a good hour or two. So we'll stop it there. And then I might actually come back to this place. I don't know. But I think I might actually switch gears, go eat some dinner. And go do some other stuff, but ta-ta for now. I will see you in the, uh, in the next one, where we will continue the Wilderness Frontier.